Jay Wink Reviews here. Today I'm reviewing the Pioneer BDR XD05S Blu-ray Writer, uh, which is a 3.0 uh, read-write Blu-ray recorder and DVD recorder. Uh, included here with the writer uh, is the instruction manual, and uh, which I already have attached the 3.0 USB cable, which is what's called a Y cable, and I'll get into that in a second, but... Uh, one of my initial issues with this uh, recorder is not about the recorder itself, but I think that the included uh, USB cable is pretty short at 16 inches in length. And if you include the uh, having the need to use the second uh, USB plug, it's even shorter. And I'll get into that in a second uh, as well. But overall, this is a nice looking recorder or burner whatever you want to call it. Uh, but Pioneer does not include any writing software or any type of utility software is included with the drive. Um, which is kind of a shame because I do think at its current price at 75 bucks, it's a bit expensive for just the writer by itself. It should have at least included some basic burning software with it. Um, now the Pioneer does have a utility program that you can download uh, from their website but it, again it's a basic utility and not for really for burning software uh, the drive works for both uh, Windows and Macintosh I'm currently using it on a Windows 10 computer but I also use it on a Windows 7 uh, and it was quickly recognized by both OS's uh, without any additional software required as far as drivers or anything like that so uh, that that quickly recognized and quickly started working the way it's supposed to. Uh, now, as I mentioned a second ago, ago with this writer, this comes with a second USB plug on the cable, what's called a Y cable. Uh, the reason being is that you may need to use this secondary plug to provide enough power for certain operations, although I personally not had to use that yet. Uh, but it, there is, uh, you know, certain occasions you may need to plug it into a second USB plug or a port. Uh, the problem with that is this cable is really, really short. Uh, in addition to the Y part is only a couple of inches in length. So if you don't have dual ports on your laptop or computer or they're spaced, you know, far apart or you don't have a separate, uh, you know, USB uh hub to plug into it can make it kind of a pain to use uh, I'm not sure why uh, Pioneer kind of decided to go that route maybe it's convenience of not having a separate power cable I don't know but uh, maybe they should have at least provided that option uh, so that could be a disadvantage for some uh, otherwise the drive itself is pretty good it's it's well made it's lightweight it's compact as you can see it's pretty small uh, it making it very portable to carry around. It reads and writes fairly quickly uh, and handles more most media formats. I'm going to put a disc in here uh, just to kind of give you an idea of the noise if you can hear. It, it does have a little bit of noise, but that's pretty standard for most uh, writers, uh, external especially, because you can just kind of hear them a little bit easier. But nothing out of the ordinary, I think. Uh, it, it loads up pretty quickly, and it's hard to see on my screen here, the disc, but it loads up uh, very quickly. It reads writes pretty quickly for what it is. Uh, but the one thing about this as well uh, is it handles most media formats, but for playing Blu-ray discs, Pioneer didn't provide any of the codecs with this, uh, so you may need to get the codecs from, uh, for your OS. I personally use the VLC player with Blu-ray Blu codex with no issues, but again, it's kind of a, something else that you kind of got to do for this writer. Again, as I mentioned before, I do think it's a bit expensive for a Blu-ray writer, especially if you compare it to the internal versions, which are about a third of what this normally costs. Uh, pros for this, it works with both Windows and Mac. It's recognized quickly by my Windows OS as both 7 and 10. Uh, and works with those pretty well. Uh, it's lightweight, compact, portable, well made. It reads and writes fairly quickly. It handles most media formats. 
and it's a USB 3 drive, so that it makes it a little quicker as well as far as the interface. The cons with this, no writer software included. I'm not sure why Pioneer couldn't at least include a basic software or at least allow you to download some basic software. But uh, there's no writing software included with this. Uh, short USB cable and even shorter with the Y part of the cable if you include that as you may need to use two USB ports to provide enough power for certain operations. And Again, there's no Blu-ray codex for this and you may have to download that. Uh, as well as Pioneer's utility software to, to do some operations with the, the utility operations with the drive itself. That requires, uh, you know, a uh, separate download as well. And again, being a bit pricey. And the one thing I forgot to mention is this thing can be a little sensitive to bumps like most riders are. Uh, but overall, I think it's a pretty good rider. I give it four out of five stars.